Hi guys, my channel is about photography and with that comes travels. And the thing is that any type of art, any type of creativity, you express it through music, photographs, you know, whatever art there exists. You take everything that you know about life and you express it through those platforms, through photography, art, maybe building a car, you know, uh, you know making pottery, like, I don't know. Like you express it that way. And with this channel, this channel is about photography, travel, and life. This is one of those life videos. So if it makes you uncomfortable or you kind of don't like it, you don't have to watch it. This is just simply for people that I think I can help. Anybody who's gone through this, anybody who has surpassed this point in their life, like this is for them. So if this isn't you, you don't have to watch it. That being said, I wanted to talk about what I learned that changed my life forever. I think that happiness is something that a lot of people want to have but not a lot of people can achieve it at some point people do reach happiness but i think that the biggest misconception about happiness is that people expect it to just come to them they don't realize that they have to go and chase it you know i was very unhappy with my 2019 year as far as the way it started and it didn't get better until the middle and now towards the end i feel that it's been the best year of my life and that's because i challenged myself every single day since january 1st you know a lot of people are unhappy with themselves especially younger people younger people think that they're supposed to have the world figured out and they're, they're not they're not supposed to have anything figured out they're still learning this is these are the years for them to to screw up and these are the years for them to find themselves because I feel that through that process of trying to find yourself, you think that you're also supposed to have it all figured out. And you're not because you don't even know who you are. Uh, some people don't know who they are until they're 40 or 50. And that's where I was. I was in my early 20s, entering my 20s, thinking I was supposed to be an adult and have everything figured out. And by the time I was in my mid-20s, I had nothing figured out. And because of that, I felt behind, I felt stressed, and I felt like a loser, just flat out loser that was like falling behind in life and just sucked. I don't know. And um, it all came to a boiling point on my 28th year of existence. I had a girlfriend that I was thinking about proposing to. I had a job that kept um, promoting me, kept making better money. I had, you know, all my parents were alive, had great friends. I just, it was a moment for me to be at my most happiest, and I wasn't. And I kept asking myself, like, why am I not happy? And the problem was that I wasn't happy with who I was mentally. Who I was mentally is I just ate just for the fun of it, blew up, stopped working out, which is something that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I wasn't practicing my photography, which is something else that I enjoy. I was starting to argue with my ex, uh, even though I was making a lot of money and saving it up. Like, I didn't own a home. I didn't have kids. Like, there's a lot about my life that I just was not happy with. And because of that, I became very toxic. And I kept thinking to myself, like, why am I not happy? Well, the problem was I wasn't chasing it. What stops people from chasing happiness is that it's fear. Flat out, it's fear. Fear stops people from going after happiness because I was the type of person that played it very safe. I had logical decision making and I had a straight head about myself and I didn't take risks. Problem with that is that if there's no movement, you die. And that's a quote from World War Z uh, from Brad Pitt's character. Like if you stay in one spot, you're gonna die. You have to keep moving and it translates to life. If you stay stuck in your comfort zone, if you stay in that shitty job, if you stay in whatever relationship is not working, if you stay exactly where you're at and you don't evolve, you don't grow, you're gonna feel like life is over. And there was points in my life, maybe once or twice where I felt like it was over. And one of those times was last year in my relationship. Like I just felt like it was over. And I was kind of upset. I was like, is this all that there is to life? And because of that, me and my ex would start to fight and more and more. And I, we had this one fight where I just, I was such a dick. And after like a day of reflecting on that fight, I just told myself, is, is that who I am now? Like, is this, am I happy with how I 
spoke. It's like, I just felt so much regret for the way I behaved, and I was like, I, that's not fair to her, and it's not fair to me. And I decided to make a change. Uh, I was about to turn 29, and I was like, damn, I'm about to turn 29. One more year and my 20s are over. And then the thing is, my birthday's on December 5th, and I usually hate telling people my birthday, but it was December 5th, and I was like, I got like about, what is that, 20, 25, 26 days until 2019 starts, and I told myself, okay, here's, here's what I gotta do. I have to change everything about my mindset, because something's not fucking working. If something's not working, you have to change it, you know? If something's working, don't fix it, but if something's not working, you have to find a, you have to be honest with yourself and humble yourself and say, I am a shit person, and I have to change that so that I'm not feeling like this every freaking day. And so I told myself, okay, on my birthday, I'm going to sit down, hash things out with my girlfriend, and we're going to figure something out so that we can be better. With me, I have to turn towards a spirituality. I hate religion because I think it's it's blasphemous and it just it, it's ass backwards it doesn't make sense to me all these rules all these ways that you treat people that are not like you it just doesn't seem fair so i never like religion but spirituality i could get behind it's about how you feel it's about how you impact others it's about how you reflect how you set goals how you chase after them how you manifest things through your brain and you use your third eye to live a more enriched happier life i was like okay this is something i can do i told myself i'm going to meditate I'm going to start working out. I'm going to try to feel better internally so that I can fix myself from the inside out. Problem was, I went through a breakup and I was already feeling at rock bottom. I felt bad because I was going to make all these changes and then there's this other radical change which is now I'm single. So I wasn't holding anybody back. I wasn't being held back by anybody anymore. It was just all on me. So when 2019 started, I dropped a lot of weight and most of it was fat. And the thing is, I had no muscle, so I looked super skinny. Um, the other thing is, I started to, every single day, I had an agenda I bought from Target. And I would write, and I'd then check mark each of the, my list. I made a list. I check marked the list to see if I did it that day. I'd take a progress picture, I'd meditate, read a book, and exercise every day. Slowly, I implemented more things like practice guitar, um, which I kind of stopped doing, um, learn a new language, practice a new language. And um, it was shower every single day. Because sometimes, you know, like it, it's too cold, I'll just shower in the morning or I'll shower during the daytime. And sometimes you just don't shower every day. The thing is that when I feel like crap, I just go into the shower. I just let it soak, soak out. I just baptize myself every freaking day. <laughs> just start anew. And I got that from my cousin Eric. Even if he's late to work and he's like five minutes over already, he'll still jump in the shower for like even 10 seconds just to shower. And that's something I learned from him. But. So I implemented all these things and I practiced them every single day. And it, it really changed. Having some structure to my life like that really changed. And the thing was that I was actively pursuing something. I don't know what that was, but little by little I became more and more happy. I got over my breakup. Um, I practiced photography. Um, there was a point where I was like, I need, to, I need to make money off my photography. And as soon as I said that, then the next month I'd made like over a thousand dollars doing jobs and I've never charged people and just out of nowhere I made a thousand dollars and then I stopped because I proved it to myself that if I really want to do this I could do this and then I, I stopped because the other thing is I'm about to graduate from school and everything that I've wanted has always centered around graduating from school and I'm going to be a teacher at some point and I have a great job right now that I can continue. So I have many options in my life. And the other thing is that I'm happy with who I've become. And it's because I've gone after goals that I've set out from day one, since January 1st. I told myself, I need to travel more. And I said, fuck it. If I have to spend money, I'm spend money. Because the thing about money is that it's true. We all know the quote, money doesn't bring happiness. And I learned it firsthand this year. I spent money to go to Nashville, Denver, Boston and watch the Patriots play and I spent a fortune on that game but you know what for years I told myself I want to go see Tom Brady play before he retires and I literally went to the brink where he should have probably retired a couple years ago but he's still playing great and I could have missed out on that and I just told myself if I don't do it now then when and that's the thing we we want things but we never actually sit down and say I'm gonna do it the thing about spirituality 
about having positive energy, it's that in a way it's magic. It's magic because people that really want something really bad and they go after it and they think about it every single day, they manifest it into reality. Um, that's why I love listening to Russ because that's his message. And if that's not magic, then I don't know what is. You know, we think of magic as a card trick or Santa Claus or, you know, God coming down, you know, and making all these miracles happen. But there is a magic that lives inside of us and it's us, it's up to us to bring it out. And my life has turned around. My year started out like the worst year in my life. Like I, I literally was like, I'm just numb. I was like, what do I do? Like, how can I be happy? And I told myself, half faith. Pray every day, meditate every day, practice good habits every day. Just be persistent, consistent, and everything will change. And that's the thing. This is what I'm saying. If you don't go after these things, they're not gonna come to you. If you don't actively go after happiness and, pe and be positive, you're gonna be negative and not have happiness. So you're at the fork of the road. What are you going to do? You're going to want to be happy. And the thing that pe makes people unhappy is that they don't go after it and they think very negatively. Whatever you think in your brain, you attract. So if you're just being a bitch, an asshole, and thinking negatively, that's all you're going to continue to be. And I wish I'd known this in my 20s because I'd be 10 years ahead of where I'm probably going to be by the time I turn 40. But in my 20s, going into my 30s, and I have no stress. There is no timetable. Here's the other thing. There is no timetable for anybody. Time doesn't fucking matter. What matters is right now. You can't think about the past because you can't change it. You can't think about the future because it's not here. But what you could do is prepare for the future today. Whatever you want tomorrow, if you're not working for it today, tomorrow, it's not just going to magically happen. You have to take a risk and go after what you want every fucking day, relentlessly, with a passion. Knowing what you want and going after it, eventually you get to it. And when you get to it, guess what? Now you're comfortable. Guess what? New fucking level. You have to go and do something else. And that is something that I didn't know before. And I was just sitting at home with this beautiful girl that I wanted to marry, getting this job that I wanted. And... And just like thinking like, why am I not happy? Like I have everything I wanted. No, because there was something else I needed and there was something internal about me that was not fulfilling. And now that I know who I am, what I need to do to be successful, it's still not too late. Like I'll find a new girlfriend, somebody to love me. I'll find a way to have, uh, you know, continue improving in my job or getting another job or how the money, if I don't think about money, it's just gonna naturally come to me. That's the other thing. People are always unhappy because they chase the money and they don't tra chase like the positive things in life, like family, friends, happiness inside, you know, good mental health. They chase after the money that actually deteriorates their priorities. So people that chase money are always broke. People that chase their passion and do things for the right reasons, eventually on their way, the money just comes into them and it, they attract the money. So if you have your mindset on chasing money, chasing fame, chasing glory, chasing happy days, you're gonna you're doing the wrong thing. You're you're doing it, you're skipping steps. And if you skip steps on the recipe, the recipe overall, once it's done cooking, it's not gonna work. If you start going towards what makes you happy and how you can help others eventually the money is going to find you and that's something that people never think about and it's something that i wish that i knew years before um, and it's not too late and that's the thing we think that, that we have the weight of the world because we're running out of time but we have so much fucking time i have got decades left just because i used my 20s to fuck up and learn who i was and learn who I don't want to be doesn't mean that in my 30s I should punish myself because I'm 10 years behind. If anything, I'm right where I need to be. There is no timetable. Everything in your life happens for a reason and at the perfect time. You just have to take those omens, those signs of life, and let the universe just fucking guide you and stop trying to control everything. I lost a girlfriend. I lost somebody that I wanted to marry. And what it taught me is that you don't get what you want. You don't, what you think is best for you is not. My time with that person taught me what I needed to learn, and that was it. It was, once I used up all that knowledge, it was time to move on to something else. Same for her. 
I'm not chasing money anymore. I don't give a fuck about money. I just want to do what makes me happy every fucking day. And part of that is this YouTube channel. Part of that is practicing photography. Part of that is going out there and talking to this freaking person that I don't know and making a real connection with them. And when you do those sorts of things, you have no idea how valuable life becomes. You have no idea how amazing life becomes, how much fun it is. If you just say yes to everything and you do everything that scares you, if you take risks every freaking day, how exciting does that sound rather than just being at home Netflixing? You know the outcome of that day. But if you go out there, if you go to a party and say, I'm going to talk to this hot chick and see how she turns me down. Let me see how this goes. You never know what's going to happen with your interaction with her. If you say, if your friends say, hey, you want to go hiking with us? It's like, no, I don't want to wake up. Then I got work in the afternoon. It's like, fuck it. Yeah, let's go. Let me see how my day goes. If I go hiking with you guys and I make a brand new memory and then I go to work, tired as hell and push through that let me see where i'm at at the end of the day and let me see how much i learned about life if you live with that mentality everybody else is fucked and nobody can compare to you you're not competing with anybody but imagine how much better you're going to be today than from the person you were yesterday and that's going to shape you tomorrow you have to live like this you cannot stay comfortable take risks live life dangerously not i'm not telling you to jump out of a plane but live with fear. If you don't have a constant fear in the pit of your stomach that makes you hungry, you're not living. That's what I learned this year. And heading into 2020, everything that I changed about myself, I literally am going to go into 2020 saying new year, new me, because who I was entering 2019 is nobody compared to who I'm going to be when I enter 2020. And if you're not trying to live your life, constantly trying to improve, you're wasting it, man. Until you realize that you have to improve yourself every day, you're not gonna feel fulfilled and you're not gonna be happy. That's everything I learned. I hope this touched somebody and I hope this, this helps people out there who feel lost and feel like they're behind and just don't know what they're doing and they feel a little depressed because of it. Just know that all year I've heard of people breaking up. I can't even, I don't have enough fingers and toes to count how many people broke up from four, five, six year relationships, even 11 year relationships. And now they're doing so much better people that feel lost with their current job, people that feel depressed because they don't like where they're at life. It's everybody. It's not just you. It's not just me. It's everybody. You're in this fight with other people. Just because you feel alone in the fight doesn't mean you're the only one. So with that being said, guys, if this helped at all, comment below your thoughts if you've gone through it, if you're going through it, and don't forget to subscribe. I have a fun video next week. A little bit different than this. My top pictures that I've taken all year. So we'll get back to the photography side. But for right now, I just really needed to get this off my chest because it's something that I've thought about for so much. And I just hope that it helps you guys. And I hope that it, even though it ran a little long, I hope that you guys stuck through it. And um, if you ever feel in doubt, just think about what I said. And just know that I'm going to grow so much more in another year. And this video, if I did it in another year, might be completely different, but it's, it's all steps. You're never done learning. You're never done, you know, reaching and unlocking some sort of knowledge. It's always constantly improving. That, this is just the stage that I'm in, and I hope this helped you guys. Thank you guys. I'll catch you guys down the road on the next one.